And I believe Mike's. Uh oh. Well, never mind. Sorry. And now, Mike's should be hot. As well as your pockets, your hearts, your minds. I don't know if a warm mind, do you want a warm mind? Warm heart, I've heard. Uh, but a warm mind, I don't, I don't exactly know what that entails. Oh baby, oh boy. Y'all, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. And I don't think I'm ever not honest with y'all. But man, I don't normally get allergies or allergies during the spring season don't normally affect me. But lately, at least, this past week, boy, it's, uh, it's been doing a number on you, boy. Tried taking some allergy medicine just now, and uh, it's, it's putting me in a little bit of a haze. Um, <laughs> the block may not be hot. But your boy's forehead and temperature, well, I mean, it could be because I'm wearing a hat and a flannel. But you know, it is what it is. Everything I do, I do it big. Yeah. I don't even like that song. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of Wiz Khalifa. But hey, baby. I'm sorry, that, that, that could have been rude. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing out there? You know what it is. It is the, uh... Uh, it's not really a pre-pre-pre-show with Jan because that's normally before the bombcast. I'm just testing the microphone here. Let's turn some music on. What about that, guys? Yeah? All right, that's that's chill. Okay. Okay. Uh, beautiful. You know, it's, it's weird because walking towards the office today, walking to BART and then from BART to the office, I felt completely fine. But as soon as I stepped inside to the control room here to turn everything on and get stuff prepped for the bomb cast, I just started sneezing like nobody else. Um, and I wonder if the vents, the AC vents that pipe into the studio or the control room just manage over the weekends and just pick up a poop ton of pollen and whatnot from the outside and are just blasting it into the control room. Because other than that, I wasn't really sneezing too bad. Um, but I did take some allergy medicine and I had a handful of almonds. I have some, I had some, uh, some tea. I still have some tea and some water. I'm contemplating whether or not I should use the bathroom. I think I'm okay. How are y'all, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me on another installment. We'll get into that. We don't have to do the intro just yet. <clears throat> um, well, yeah, you know, we're just hanging, in, hanging out. My, my nephew and my auntie are in town. I feel incredibly bad because my aunt um, from the Philippines came over to LA to live with my cousins, her kids. Um, she doesn't know to drive and it was, you know, she's a little bit older. Yeah, so she's a little bit hesitant to take the bus and stuff. Uh, and you know, I just feel bad that she's just chilling in my place, just hanging out and watching the Filipino channel. Also, my nephew, um, just incredibly inquisitive, well, as inquisitive as you can be for a fourth grader. And I was, I was telling the crew this, but it blows my mind. So I gave him, I gave him my switch for, uh, like a couple hours over the weekend to just play with, you know, keep him occupied. Um, and he started playing Fortnite because I had it on the Switch. And man, it, uh, he had the hardest time using the analog sticks. And I, you know, I don't think I got acclimated to using an analog stick for a first person shooter, maybe till I was, I don't know, fifth, sixth grade. If that even, I probably have the <clears throat> timeline, my own timeline messed up in my head, but he was telling me his thumb started to hurt afterwards because he's used to playing Fortnite on an iPad or a tablet, whatever. And it just blows my mind that this current crop of kids playing games 
you know, not all of them are gonna be playing on iPads, but like a, a good chunk of them are gonna grow up playing on touch screens. And I just, I just, <sighs> my mind. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, for what it's worth, he did wind up picking up and being able to play um, Fortnite with two, two analog sticks very fast. I mean, yeah. I'm not that old. I'm not that old. However, this year, uh, this year I, I, uh, been known to do not extravagant stuff, just very odd stuff, um, for my birthday. And this year I think I'm gonna go, I want to go celebrate it at a Jolly Bee, because why not, you know? Uh, holla at your boy, if this is like a, uh, a good volume as far as the gameplay goes, <clears throat> um, yeah, we're just hanging, just hang oh, s holy smokes, okay, yes, <clears throat> oh god, I'm sorry, that was rude, uh, let me know, uh, this is good volume for the gameplay sometimes. It's a little too loud for people's taste, but you know, I just want to keep it at a nice low and whatnot. Yum yum, we yum yumming? Hell yeah, baby. Uh, what kind of tea am I rocking? I'm ro I, I got grabbed two bags. We got some green tea classic, Bigelow brand, and mint melody. Hey, hey. Bing. I can't remember that rap song I was thinking of, but that's fine. That's okay. Chicken Joy or Spaghetti? Bro, I hate the spaghetti at Jollibee. I am not a fan uh, of, of Jollibee spaghetti. I don't like sweet spaghetti. I know that's that's like, well, you're not Filipino if you don't like Jollibee spaghetti. And you know what? Random voice judging me? That's fine. You have your own opinions. I have mine. I, eh, this is a very slow fade, so I'll do it over here instead. Count down with me, everybody. Oh, let me record first. Bloop! Boop! <clears throat> In three, two, one. <laughs>